we should be live. Hopefully the stream is doing pretty well, guys. How is everyone? Already a lot of people here. Hello. Oh, wow. Well, my mom is here for sure. <laughs> Larry, how's it going, guys? So cheers to you guys. Cheers. Thank you. Babe, where's uh, my video? You're, it's coming up, Laura. You have to wait. Um, we are in, where are we? Pensacola. We're in the parking lot of Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like we're so we got this little trailer and we were headed to Miami for the Miami International Boat Show. Yes. And and we're actually going to be filming for my second channel which is Flying Doodles. I've got like seven or eight airplanes in Florida lined up to uh, edit, I mean to go film. And so we made this trip, we decided we'd do the Miami Boat Show. Um, Quality time with the puppies. Yeah, hey Thad, what's up buddy? I'm hey Thad. Um, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be doing some meet and greets. Uh, we haven't really set anything up yet, but we will do it. You can if you see on our Instagram on our on the page there, it's at Sailing Doodles and at FML Order. Those are both our Instagrams. So if you would like updates on where to find us at the Miami International Boat Show or to where the the uh, meetups we're going to be, you can follow that, and we'll post that. We're going to be at the boat show on the 18th. We haven't decided which booth we're going to hang out yet. We have a couple ideas, um, but we got to go talk to the people first. Um, so we're going to do that. So um, go on the 18th, not the 17th. Yeah, go on the 18th. We're going to be we'll driving be there. all day tomorrow. Yeah, that's the thing. I, it's such it's such a long drive from Texas, and we only had a couple days to do it. And he won't let me drive. Well, so. it's, yeah, I don't want her driving. <laughs> so. <laughs> so anyway, we did. Uh, we left. Uh, we drove to Nacogdoches yesterday. And then we did. We left at Nacogdoches a little before eight o'clock today, and drove until six o'clock. We got to Pensacola, but all like we called like probably what ten RV Pensacola parks. Pensacola is the edge of Florida, right? Yeah, yeah. So we made it. We yeah. got to Florida. Well, we're in Florida, but like we called. I can't tell how. I can't tell you how many um, like RV parks we called, and all of them were full. So we're boondocking here at the Walmart. Can you believe we passed New Orleans and Mardi Gras going on? We yeah. didn't even stop. Well, if we had dead, thought about it more, we might have done it. So. Fix the audio. What's wrong with the audio? Oh no, really? Sorry. Um, Walmart doesn't have good Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm doing it. For, we're hotspotting off my phone. Oh. oh. Is that a little dang it, audio? Let me turn the gain down a little. Oh, this, okay. There we go. So, Testing. Yeah, our okay. goal is just to get to the Miami boat show for the last day, and then we'll work our way back doing flying doodles and do meet and greets along the way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Well, we're gonna take our. Somebody's Sorry. out there. There's more, another RV just pulled up because I guess all all the all the RV parks are full. Um, yeah. And so yeah, we're gonna work our way back doing meet and greets and filming for flying doodles and all that. So if you would like to keep abreast of that, we're gonna be working our way back to the Gulf Coast from Florida all the way to Texas. Yeah. So I posted on my Instagram and my Twitter, "Where do you live?" So we kind of would have an idea of best places to stop. Mm -hmm. So check out Instagram or Twitter yeah. for updates. Yeah, but we have a, so you're saying long way from Miami, or I know, we still have like 650 miles to go. We're halfway there. Yeah, we're over halfway from Dallas, but I mean, it's just going to be such a long day again tomorrow, and I'm still jet lagged. Like, Babe, uh, I heard. What? It gets better if you complain about it. Right. Yeah. Well, that's your joke. <laughs> <laughs> Will we have a booth in the, in the, in the, bo in the boat show? No, it's kind of a last minute thing. If we had had, if we had really decided ahead of time we were going to do it, we might have like called around and. And and uh, talk to some. We just had something. so many things that we're doing. But, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. It's been really hard scheduled this year. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, there's a couple. There's a couple uh, uh, booths that we know people uh, or don't know people. But anyway, we'll we'll, we'll announce it. We're going to be there 100 percent on the 18th, which is what Monday. Which is it, not uh, tomorrow, but the next day. Yeah, Monday. 100% will be there. And so if you follow our Instagrams, which are both on the screen right there, we will let you know which booth we're going to be at. And we'll be, you know, we'll do like 12 to 2 at some booth or something. So um, we'll do that. Hey, Just what's up, Just in time Jen? for Beer 30. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, Soda, Florida Concierge. Thank you, sir. Hey. Cheers to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We've had a lot um, of people reach out to us too from Florida, so I'm really excited yeah. about that. Yeah, there's a lot of people in Florida. That's that's the, that's the reason we because we were gonna I was gonna go filming for my Flying Doodles channel for about three weeks here while we have some downtime. We're about to, we're gonna be heading back to uh, so the, it's not too late to sign up for the Sailing Doodles Flotilla. Also, yes, please do that. Um, there break. should be I think there is a link. Hey Jen. I think there's a link in the show notes for the. Uh, well, okay. In the show notes, there's a link for uh, Group Island Spirit. 
you you can or just email me down there you can do all that too so but it's a uh, march 10th through the 17th in thailand it's not too late to sign up for that so we are going to be back with group island spirit they have the, the catamarans in thailand that we've been on really cool boats uh, we did some boat tours on it they're the big 40 yeah. 41 foot catamarans wayne thank you cheers to you buddy thank um, you wayne yeah thank hey you, jen. jen there you go Hi. thank you you're awesome so Jen E Dog the cat, I believe that's her. Uh, how many followers are you up to now on uh, on Instagram? You're like two hundred thousand or something. Whoa! You're blowing us out of the water. So I think that's Teach her, us something. I, well, <laughs> I think that's her. I think that's her username on Instagram too. Is like Jen E Dog mm -hmm. the cat, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, she's um, New she, Zealand. She's like this she's really hot and she's like she's a, really hot just look her she's up. like a like a weightlifter and she's really buff she's and, got and, thighs of steel yeah yeah and so she she posts a lot of <laughs> she posts a lot of pictures of that wearing barely little at all yeah she shows off her thighs yeah so. <laughs> yeah thaddeus thank you uh 100 congratulations on 117 yeah i know thanks yeah. we're almost 119 now it's pretty crazy uh what's your plan for nursing um well, I got all my licenses finally, but now it's like we have to go sailing. But I did, I got hired at both places, and um, I actually start March 25th. In, in Casper, Wyoming. You so, have to tell everybody where. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll be in Casper. I'll be with my parents for just a little bit. Yeah, so, so we're going to do that after the flotilla now. Yeah, so we'll do that after the flotilla. And then... And I applied to Mercy Ships, yeah. so I'm in the last couple stages of getting approved for that and I'm on standby otherwise the trip that I applied for is not until the Mercy, October the Mercy ship thing is cool but yours is only like the Mercy ship stuff for nurses it's only eight weeks but they had like a videographer thing open too yeah you can stay longer if you want but they just assume well no but the videographer thing there was like two year contract. Well, yeah first off and I was just like yeah it was a two year contract and it's unpaid Lawrence thank you it's all Cheers volunteer you, you yeah. have to pay to be on this boat yeah. So for the videographer thing, it was a, it was a two year contract. You must have experience videographing. Okay, that's fine. I got that. And a degree. They wanted you have a college degree, which I do have, but I'm like like they wanted it in media and all that. I was just amazing the amount of requirements they had it's for a, their videographer. It's, a, it's amazing. But it was mission. an unpaid. It's an unpaid thing for two years. It's as big as a cruise ship. Who it's has that kind of, I mean, Who has that kind of free crazy. time and money to do that for two years? I don't know. I but. mean, you know, it's just anyway. Are y'all still going to the regatta and the BBIs? We'd like to. We still haven't set anything up 100% for that yet. Um, uh, we've been talking to a few people. Um, we'd like to, so we'll see. Uh, you guys wish you guys could make it to the Caribbean soon, yeah? Did everybody have a good Valentine's like Day? Because I did. I yeah. got my boyfriend. That's hey. right. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. Um, so, and also what we decided we're going to start doing is kind of just, not just a, a necessarily a sailing, um, a sailing, uh, we'll be, I, I'll, I'll put it out on a video coming soon, but we're going to do a, a different kind of podcast than we have been doing. We've been doing like just sailing related podcasts. We didn't do that many. We did like 12. We can probably talk about anything that we want now. Well, that's the thing, it, but I think I'm going to do a separate channel on it because I think a lot of the people... Some people want more variety. Yeah, Some but people I mean, want only sailing. A lot of yeah, but the thing is, a lot of the sailing doodles viewers that are just sailing doodles, they're pretty finicky. If it's not to do with sailing, they, yeah, they don't some like people like they do just want sailing a hundred percent. Yeah, so you're so, saying just make something separate. So I'm gonna do a separate channel. It'll be like you know something. I don't know. I haven't named it yet, but it'll be us doing. Uh, we'll do like one or two a week, but it's just gonna be really simple. Of us talking. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like this. Do I get to pitch the subjects? Well, what we're gonna do is open it up to our. Hey, Tom. Thank you, sir. Oh. Oh, yeah. pick some good stuff, guys. Well, we're gonna open it up to our patrons. <laughs> so our patrons, like, well, don't don't send it just yet, because I'll be it'll we'll be doing it in the next week. But Thanks, right now Tom. we're not we're not quite ready. Uh, but uh, uh, so we'll be asking our patrons, hey, give us topics, give us questions that you want answered. And so if you're a patron, and we'll say, okay, this week, send us in some questions for this week, and we'll talk about it in the podcast. And it's, it doesn't have to be sailing. You know, I, I did mean, like the commentaries that we did too. Yeah. That yeah. was fun. We should do a couple of those too. Let yeah. people vote on what they. Yeah. Which well, one we they need to like. do some more of those. Yeah. Those were fun. Yeah. So a lot of it, a lot of that stuff is just it's it's hard to, you know. Well, uh, you like this stuff because it's easier to edit. Yeah, it's well, just more things to. Well, do. Well, yeah, the the podcast won't be really edited at all. It'll be it'll be, I mean, just as we are doing now, but we'll record it. But it'll be kind of just instead of like a live interaction. I don't know it. We'll see how it goes. Well, I, it sounds like I'm getting a live interaction with you. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we'll, I like that. We'll bring on guests and stuff like that, you know. I mean, that would be fun, yeah. like Dylan McGaster when we did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. So, oh, and we did bring... Um, the animals. Uh, the animals are with us. Animal number one. 
And then animal number two is underneath. Yeah, he's underneath. He's there. They're having a good time, so. Um, <laughs> they love it. Mm -hmm. How about a channel of uh, uh, naughty travel nurses? Man, you never know. Uh, why didn't you take your tracker on the thingy glamping? Uh, honestly, I have it with me, um, but we're not going to turn it on just because... Actually, I got him a cool gadget. Tell him uh, what you hey, got for uh, Christmas. Grizz, thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Grizz. Yeah. Tell him what you got for Christmas. You got me a Garmin watch. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if you're not going to use it, I'll then you I brought it with me. But the Garmin tracker, the reason we're not doing it now is because I know way. for a fact I will forget to turn it off when we pull into an RV park. And well, everybody would be at Walmart right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're at a Walmart in Pensacola. I'm not saying which one, because that's happened before. I mean, it's no big deal, whatever. But I've been, we've done a live chat from the Walmart in Fernley, and there's this only, isn't your first time. And there's only one Walmart in Fernley. I mean, no, we don't care. We had a good time. We had, we had people came and hung out. But like, we've wrapped up our live chat, and then like, there's two or three people out there going, "Hey guys, I saw you on the live chat." Oh, that's awesome. And we're in Fernley, Nevada, too, which is like population like five or ten thousand. Were so. they all headed to Burning Carol? Man? Thank you. Yeah. Well. No, they live there. Um, so, oh. yeah. There you go. Uh, wow, actually catching a live. There you go. Thank you. Um, but what are you doing? Oh, she needs a beer. Uh, yeah, there you go. So. Na, na, na. Beer 30. Dexter, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, why are you guys so cool? I don't know. Cheers, we're not Dexter. Really cool. we're, we're, it's all we fake. We are totally cool. It's, it's all fake. Yeah. It's, yeah. But um, so that's what we're doing now. <laughs> oh, man, we're doing that. So if you would like to come see us at the uh, Miami International Boat Show, we'll be there on Monday the 18th. Please come. Follow, I, follow our Instagrams and stuff, and we will let you know. I have been to the boat show in Fort Lauderdale twice, but I've not actually been to the Miami one, and this one's supposed to be, like, way yeah. more extravagant. So I'm yeah, really excited. Yeah, it's supposed excited. to be pretty cool. Um, I think really I, cool. I heard, actually. I don't know when, what day, but I, I think what right. Well, the other ones happen during Halloween, so I'm also down there yeah. for, like, costume parties. Well, you, t you, you told me that, that... And this one's Valentine's Day time, oh, yeah. so this is the other city I haven't been Maybe to. that's why, like, all the RV parks are full of Valentine's or something. No, it's a, this is a holiday no, weekend, right? there's Mardi Gras this in is Louisiana. Like, this is, is this President's it's, Day it's weekend? Valentine's... Like, yeah, all the kids are out President of school this weekend. Monday. That's what it is. All the kids are out of school. That's why all our RV parks are full. We couldn't get it. Um, what are you drinking, Bobby? Just a beer. I'm, I, He's a Miller Lite boy these days. Yeah, well, yeah, hey, as soon as this is over, I'm going to sleep. I'm exhausted. I may I may sound chipper, but I'm... Okay. I do have a contract in Guam. Yeah. It was supposed to start November 6th, but the the um, the nursing board, they didn't get my paperwork yeah. done in time to fulfill that, but it was still a standing contract. And then the travel agency, I guess, didn't get paid from that hospital because it's not... They don't have, really have a lot of money. And um, so they pulled all their nurses out right when it was time for me to go. So it was kind of crazy. But now they're going to hire me as a private person, which I'll probably still do that. But my license is only good for yeah. one year there. So I don't know when we're going to fit that in. Hey, that's a great idea. Jen, Jen says what? that she'll do Naked and Afraid with you. What? All right. So, Jen. Yes. Uh, no, are you backing out? Because they finally contacted well, no, him and great. said he could go. Yeah, away. well, they, 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 they sent us to, he said, I'll, I'll send your stuff to casting. So we'll see. Um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, so we, we have one of the producers for Naked and Afraid. And Alan, thank you so much. Weather in Miami. Oops, thank you. Hang on. Go I back. can't read what you said. Um, uh, weather in Miami is great tonight. I've been following you guys since the beginning. Just moved from Vegas three weeks ago. Wow, oh, cool. Right. Come to the Miami Boat Show. Come to we'll the Boat see Show. Ya. We'll see you. Yeah. Uh, we'll be there on Monday. So, But that would Cheers, be cool. Thank so you. so the uh, one of the producers, because we mentioned she wanted to do Naked and Afraid in a video. And I wanted to do Naked and Afraid with you alone in Fiji and film it. I wanted to do well, our own. Well, then my own... face blew up, so. That Your face good... blew where up, my, Where did. my face blew up, that would have been a good island to do it at. I mean, that would have been like. We can go back. <laughs> All right, sure. Uh, so, but anyway, that would be funny. So I, I will email the, uh, I don't know if they ever do two girls doing the Naked and Afraid thing. Whatever, Jim, we can be the first. Yeah, that'd be, be, I'm sure the ratings would be awesome. Why does it matter? I don't know. I mean, oh two, hey! Two hot girls. So that will probably do really well, actually. Yeah, I'm, sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know. So anyway, we'll do that if it works out. So was that Declan there? Hey, what's up, man? Earl, what's up, man? Um, so uh, that's kind of so we'll be there. I actually I heard that. Uh, didn't you tell me that um, Riley or something's gonna be at the boat show too? Yeah, Riley's already there. Oh, he's already Blake there. Blake Vagabond's already there. And you said he's hanging out at the Outremer. Thing. I think, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, he, they, at, he's at a, some catamaran one. So yeah, well, that'd be Ultramar. He wouldn't be on a different cat because I'm not sure they're if they're sponsor. both there. If he's Bass just forever. There. Well, cheers to you. Thanks, sir. Catch any fish lately? Um, <laughs> hey, Bass forever. Yeah, you Walleye went on Friday. How, how was it, Alan? Was the was the boat show pretty good? Um, I, I hear boat yeah. show is amazing, babe. Okay. It's it's kind of like being in Miami, well, but we are Cabo. In Miami. Okay. 
You know Cabo where they're all just backed up together and you can just kind of like go on and off and make new friends? It's kind of like that. But then there's docks that are reserved that you can't really go in without like a special pass. Mm -hmm. So. You're getting a lot of offers now to, uh, they want to do Naked and Afraid with you. So. Everybody want, all right, so someone's <laughs> going to teach me how to build fire. Right. <laughs> someone's going to teach me how to build a shelter. Yeah. What yeah. else do I need to do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, not not get eaten by bugs. I think that's the main thing. Snakes. When are we coming to Minnesota? I have no idea. But I whatever. can go to Minnesota. My grandparents are there. So, so people whatever. were asking uh, about what's what's the future for boats and stuff. Um, well, we're going back to Thailand. Uh, so if you'd like to join us, uh, you can even send me a message on at Sailing Doodles at on Instagram. I don't know if the link is up here. I should have put it up there, but I, I didn't. Uh, actually, I can probably... Any Sailing Doodles. Yeah, just contact me and I'll send you a link. It's March 10th through the 17th. You can reserve a cabin for $2,000. There is a, another fee per person for like the all-inclusive part. Uh, but they'll do all the, the stocking for you. But you rent a cabin for 2000 bucks. You can't really beat that. But so Yeah, we're, any hotel over there is... I yeah. don't know. So in a couple weeks, we'll fly back to Thailand. We're doing that flotilla. So, babe, do I get to do sailing school before or after this we'll trip? We'll see how the timing works out. No. Okay, but... Uh, uh, we'll see. But anyway, but so we're going to do uh, that. And then after that, we really don't have anything set in stone. Um, we, have a, we have a few options. Uh, so Group Island Spirit, we, you know, we're still negotiating with them. We may buy one of the, their catamarans, so if we can make it work. Um, and then we've had a couple, uh, not really delivery offers, but, but, but uh, you know, be like, hey. I'll tell you what, if anybody wants a boat delivered from Thailand to California, just let oh, me know. No, I, I have all know. my shoes and clothes and I'm all kinds like of stuff Caribbean, I don't want to part with. You know, like the one guy, <laughs> so the, 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 no, the one guy was talking about, you know, like the boat's in Mazatlan and we take it to the Caribbean. I mean, that's, like, I don't want to do another. Uh, I do. Not, not, especially I'll do going, it. you know, that's why I need down to go around to Africa school. and all that. And I mean, I don't want to, no, I mean, I don't want, but the thing is like, if I were to do that trip, I want to do it in like three years. I don't want to do it in like eight, nine months. Like which, you don't want to buy me a whole new wardrobe. Yeah, that's what it is. That's so. what. It is. Check the double dub w two planes for in Fort Lauderdale. All right, we'll do it. Larry, thank you. Appreciate it. Yay! Um, thank you, Larry. Trailer trash doodles, man. Oh well, we are in a trailer. Hey, we are in Walmart right now. We are boondocking at Walmart. Yeah. Hashtag well, that. <laughs> we we contact. We called like I mean I mean like I said I con I called at least. At least ten um, RV parks in in, in and near anywhere around Pensacola within like hundred miles of here, and they're all full. And so we're just like, uh, so you're looking at buying a sailboat? Maybe you could uh, loan it to Sailing Noodles for a bit. There you go. Hey, see how it goes. Hey, we would love that actually. Yeah. Um, I'll sail just about anywhere. Do we like cats <laughs> versus a monohull? It depends on what you're doing it for. I mean, a cat is if you're if you're just. For general cruising, a cat's pretty awesome. If you're doing a lot of ocean crossings, monohull's probably better. Uh, but it really depends on what you're doing. I mean, most of the time, most of the time, you're looking for the comfort rather than the good ocean sailing because you just pick your weather windows, right? I mean, you know, don't go in bad weather seasons. So, we get... <laughs> oh, it's back. Okay. Um, when did you get an RV? We, we bought it like a three week days ago. ago. Yeah, like three days ago. It was the day before I showed up. It's a 2004. Um, it's not an RV, it's a trailer. It's a 2004, uh, Forest River, like, 28-foot. This um, thing was how much? Was I am really excited about this. $4,500 plus TT&L. What's TT&L? Tax title and license. So, oh, wait. Yeah, it has there. a bathtub. It, what? Well, it, I, you could wash a baby in the bathtub. It's, I will fit in there. What are you I trying to say? Yeah, so, greetings from Canada. All right. Uh, this one's probably going to be relevant. We're probably only going to do another 10 minutes on this Bobby's one. Bobby's tired because he has to drive Yeah, so well, I drove like 10 hours today, and i got to drive at least that long to get tomorrow. Um, do a long live stream Key West. We would love to make it to Key West uh, for this trip, but, uh, you know, I, I just I don't think we have enough time. Because we, we really get to only spend a week in South Florida, and I'm going to be filming and all that, and then we got to start working our way back. Because yeah. I don't want to do these long drives again. What's our but, whole time? Well, I haven't booked the flights to Thailand yet, but we need to leave here. We need to fly to Thailand, probably leave no later than the 5th or 6th. Um, and so, but we get, we got to make it all the way back to Texas. So it's sounding like sailing school is happening after the flotilla? Yeah. yeah. Babe. Um, so, anyway. Uh, your sailboat has a hot tub, really? Wow. Um, it does when I'm in it. No, just yeah. kidding. <laughs> oh, no, I was trying to get him in Walmart to buy me one of those little plastic... Um, um, 
pools. Like pools. <laughs> Kitty pools. Kitty yeah. pools. I'm like, we can just be glamping. We just need some Kristen slides, a little pool, a couple lawn chairs, and a flamingo. We're good. No. So, so somebody's <laughs> asking what kind of truck we got here. So this is a, it's a 2004 Cadillac truck. Um, and a 2004 camper. And a 2004 camper. Wow. Pretty much. I, they're both 15 years old. I bought that truck. Long time ago. 12 years ago. And then when I sold everything I owned, I and I still had it when I, when I, you know, whatever. And then I, when I sold everything I owned to go sailing, I sold it to my parents, and they're nice enough to loan it to us. Uh, well, oh, really? Yeah. Yay! So, um, you know, they're not, they're not using it, but yeah. When are you guys get back to the Caribbean, I don't know when we're getting. Bobby back to wants to get back there soon. I think I want to get back there soon too, just because we can have the dogs with us. Yeah, yeah, it will be nice. Uh, you know, like the guy that. It's talking I mean, about doing the Mazatlan to Caribbean. I mean, he said, yeah, bring the dogs. So. I wanted them to be Euro dogs. Yeah, well, I mean, that'd but, be nice. But, but uh, were you having car trouble today? Uh, not exactly car trouble. The stupid... <laughs> Somebody saw my story. I took a picture of you. Uh, no, nah, the, the dang. So it's got the blending valve for, like, air conditioning and heater. Well, it's it's stuck on the passenger side on heat. So I was hot, and he's Yeah, hot. and so, like, I basically... I don't know how good it was to actually do. I mean, I the, so the valve. I it's not the motor. I've replaced that motor once already. Um, but Dave 2D vlogs. Yeah, I've heard of him. So yeah, he's nice and stuff. But uh, um, anyway, so the blending. It's not the motor. It's the valve on the inside is stuck. And so basically, I cut open the little thing and just wedged it closed all the way. So now we have no air conditioning coming out on the passenger side. But at least on the and you know we have air conditioning coming out on the other side so it's not as yeah bad. so the driver's comfortable well well no i mean i've got my <laughs> vent pointed at you but it was like heat on the passenger side and you know it was like getting it was getting crazy. all right well i like to rub the dogs too i'm all petting them so then all of a sudden their heads are close to me yeah. and then the heater is putting out heat i'm like ah Steve, and i just left you know, wyoming and now we're like in florida and i'm like yeah. I'm overheated. Yeah, oh, I was. I didn't realize hot. you're sitting there all of a sudden turning on. Like, what are you doing? You're just like it's hot. It's blowing hot air. I'm like, well, why didn't you tell me like ten minutes ago? Anyway, so uh, uh, have you sailed the Med? No, we have not. We'd like to at some point. Yeah, that was kind of like what we really wanted to do this summer was get into the Med. Hey, smoking. What's up, man? I didn't. Say, sorry, man. We're not answering. It's uh, yeah. We oh, haven't wait, really no. been paying attention that well. I don't think this. Time. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can't. I mean, they come too fast. There's like almost a thousand people watching, so they, they come a little faster. Well, I am supposed to give a shout out. Oh. To low light guy on Instagram, he has really nice work. So yeah. if anyone's looking for a photographer, the Air Mix actuator. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. But so anyway, uh, there you go. Oh, he, he just talked about it. So there you go. Wait, where? That's Corey S. It's the low light guy. Okay, the there he is. Bam, 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 with the cameras. Yeah. Hey. Where are we now? We are in Pensacola. We're actually boondocking Look at, at a uh, at a Walmart. So we're in the Walmart parking lot because all the Jack. Thank you. Doodle yes. food. Babe, let's do a cannon or waterfall, not a cannonball. Oh, I'm so. Oh. <laughs> You'll I, go to bed though. No, I, I, I bet I'm even dinner. I need a sandwich and then I'm out. I'm asleep. But uh, tour of the trailer. Um, mm -hmm. Sure. All right, so we got, have bunk beds. You got that? There, it, that's a slide out over there. <laughs> over here. So that all that side all slides out, and then over here is the bathroom. And there's a couple bunk Here's beds the in the back. Bathtub. Yeah. This is a bathtub. I don't think that. I mean, I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> but it does have, you know, refrigerator. It does have air conditioning and heat. Uh, we're not plugged in, so bunk it doesn't beds. work right now. Bunk beds. Got Fridge, all that. Pantry. This so. whole that whole wall slides out. So. This whole thing slides out too. Well, then you got dog one. Yeah. There's goose. Goose. Hey. What? Hey, what's up, buddy? And then the other dog is right there. <laughs> Maverick! Maverick! Oh, hey! Ow! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you woke him up. Oh, uh, I know. Sorry. All right, so that is a tour of the, uh, the place there. So. Anyway. Could you see me in the bathtub that Yes, well? I could. Without yes. the light on? It was great, so. Uh... Oh, so is that the different? It's not the it's not the smoke. It's not the smoke, and it's a different smoke. Oh, did he change it from four? Oh, I did. I don't know. Uh, well, shall I send you guys a pizza? No, we literally just shopped at Walmart and got all food. I'm I'm not staying up late enough to wait for a pizza. I, so I'm having a sandwich and then I'm going to sleep. Carb overload. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just I you know I, I didn't sleep very well last night because I'm still jet lagged. And then. Yeah, you've been struggling the last couple weeks. I, you know, I mean, I was in I was in uh, 
Indonesia uh, as a crew member um, at a at a regatta there. That was a lot You're of in the Neptune regatta. It was really it it's was technically what? Indonesia. And it, yeah, yeah. Well, it, you fly into Singapore and you just go across anyway. Got it. Um, and uh, it uh, it was it was my first regatta actually being a crew member, and it was pretty interesting. Um, learned some stuff for sure. Um, we did all right, uh, but and it really was a fun regatta as far as the way they've done it all. Um, the handicapping system, like, it was a bit... So, I was on a 1998 Beneteau 50. We were racing against a 2005 Beneteau 50 that was in our class, and then there was a 2017 Beneteau 55 since. Uh, it was also in our class, and they didn't handicap it. And so, like... So you felt handicapped, and you Well, that. no, it's just that, that, that sense, the, it's a 55-foot Beneteau sense, I mean, should murder us. And actually, we beat them three out of the, the there was five five days of racing, we beat yeah. them. Really? The first day, significant, well, the first day by 20 minutes, the second day by a, over an hour, and then oh. the last day... An hour? Yeah, the last day just by a couple minutes. But the, the, the 2005 Beneteau... The first day we lost by 30 seconds. The second day we lost by two and a half minutes. No way! Yeah, and then the and then but the thing is, is that the guy's sails that we were flying is Troy is his name. Um, you've seen him in a previous episode. Tony, Tony thank you so much. Thank you, Tony. Uh, so his sails were original to the boat, so their sails were 20 years old. Oh wow! And uh, so we just couldn't point into the wind like the other boats could. And so like the last day was a pretty long day. It was a 35, 45 mile race. And it was all upwind, like straight upwind. So it's tacking, 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 tacking. And those guys could point 10 degrees higher into the winds than we could. Plus the 55 cents, you know, I mean, he's got so much more sail area because his mast is like 10 feet taller than ours and all that. And uh, they beat us. Like 70 foot? Uh, I don't I don't know. But I mean, if you well, look at our boats our last side by was side. 60. I don't remember, but, uh, you know, if you looked at the two boats side by side, it was clearly about 10 feet taller. Please say hi to Kevin Kirk. Hi, there Kevin. You there you go. Uh, smash the like button. Oh yeah, if you haven't hit the like button, please do so. That's how we kind of do this thing. So, uh, rock the trailer. Yeah, sim- rock the trailer. So yeah. Um, so anyway, it was a it was a fun thing, but you know maybe they'll have the, the handicapping down again next year. Uh, but it was still a lot of fun. You can stay home and I'll race, buddy. All right, there you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, are you using a Canon camera for this? This is just a. Um, it was actually I can't remember who sent it. One of our viewers sent it to us. It's just a webcam. It's a Microsoft webcam. But for uh, the regular uh, videos, my primary camera is a Lumix G9 um, with a Leica 12 to 60 millimeter lens. So The baby. Yeah. Uh, when are you going to get yourself an airplane? Well, i got to get my uh, my, my medical back first for flying, so we'll see how that goes. But I think there's uh, other things we need to do first. Yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Uh, I want to give you some pointers on lighting. Uh, well, I man, we're... <laughs> We're in an RV. We're in an RV, and we're not plugged in. I mean, there's nothing we can do. I mean, like... We're in a parking lot. I don't have any other lights right now. So, yeah, I mean, I, I understand. But He's already doing, tired enough. Yeah, we're doing the best we can. We're in an RV. Yeah, so, I mean, we got the lights off. Anyway, so... Um, uh, Raymond on a boat. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Walmart Wi-Fi. I'm actually hotspotting off my phone, so that's how we're doing that. Lucky for us. Yeah, so... But, so guys, um, come see us at the uh, Miami International Boat Show. We'll be there on Monday the 18th. Follow our, our Instagram and, and, uh, and uh, well, yeah. right there, there's FML Laura and Sailing Doodles. We will announce which booth we're going to be at that morning. Uh, we don't know yet, but we'll be there. We'll probably I like do, Twitter, we'll, too, because I feel like I can text message everybody, yeah. well, you know? Like. So, yeah, well, uh, post uh, a link to your Twitter on your Instagram. And there you go. I didn't think about I that. I did. Anymore. I put it in my story all the time. Okay. It's yeah. La La Goes Live. Um, <laughs> so uh, we'll announce that that morning where we're going to be. We'll probably do something like 12 to 2. Come see us. And then we'll be traveling all throughout South Florida and the Gulf Coast for the next two weeks. Um, we'll kind of do some meet and greets as we go. So if you'd like to come, I mean, you know, we're going to do South Florida, Fl- Fort Lauderdale. We might hit over to Fort Myers and then up to Tampa, uh, maybe Daytona, um, and then... And then maybe Pensacola again on the way through. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but but you, message us. Let us know where you live. Yeah. Well, yeah. And if, so follow us on there, and then we'll announce where we're going to be and when we're going to be. But over the next few weeks, you can plan on that. Are we going to Burning Man? Yes. Yep. This will, I'll be taking this to Burning Man. So there you go. 
Uh, show us some wake boats. All right. Focus problem on the camera. I well, it's just automatic. It keeps coming in and out. I mean, I, it's just you know, well, I, I could have set it up more, but I'm just too tired to do it. So whatever. It's because of the light. No, it's because of the light. It's not lit up enough. So the you're not lit up enough. Yeah, okay. So any meetups planned in Miami? Yes, we will have one. We don't know when yet. It'll be this well, coming the week in the first evening. First one's so, at yeah. the boat show. Yeah, first one's at the boat show. So we'll do on it. The 18th. Yeah. yeah, we're planning on Tampa. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um. But yeah, so blend actuator door on Amazon for like twenty bucks. Yeah, I know. Maybe uh, uh, maybe we'll send have it sent to the next uh, trailer or RV park. So, all right, guys, I am exhausted. Um, I can tell. So uh, we're gonna call this one. But thank you all so much for for helping. And like I said, we're gonna be doing uh, a new podcast channel. Um, it's not necessarily gonna be all about boats. It's just gonna be us talking. We'll have guests and stuff like that. Um, and we'll probably do one or two of those a week. It's going to be, we'll have it on YouTube, and then we'll also have it on the podcast. It's probably just going to leave it under Sailing Duels Podcast because it's already set up. Set up. So you can search your, your favorite podcast provider for Sailing Doodles, and that'll be there. Gosh, or, we can talk about all kinds of things now. Yeah, yeah. That's why I kind of wanted to do that. I mean, because I, it's, you know, there's a lot of times like we have downtime. Sailing, flying, camping, yeah. dogs, yeah, exactly. being a couple. There you go, everything. Trying so, to be normal. Yeah, I'm trying to be. Yeah. So we'll do that. <laughs> Uh, and so one of the things we're going to do is we're going to answer our patrons' questions. So patreon.com slash sailing doodles. Uh, that's how we kind of do this whole thing. We, we depend on them and, and their awesome generosity for, for uh, allowing us to keep doing this. Um, so we're going to – don't don't ask yet, but in the next couple days, I'll send out a message on Patreon saying, hey, give us your questions, and we'll answer them on the next podcast. So um, Thad said he has a break in March. So Thad, 10th through the 17th, yeah. please come to the flotilla. Sailing Doodles Flotilla, March 10th through the 17th. You can go to groupislandspirit.com and get more information from uh, them there. You can send them an email and ask about doing it. It's like $2,000 for a cabin. And you guys come on. So. Yay. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see I'm you. I'm posting a lot of stories on my Instagram, too, of us in the yeah. car and what yeah. we're doing. So if you want to check that out, too, yeah, hers hit is that at little F circle. There you go.